Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, or you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. We're going to talk about Kanye West losing $20 million on his Malibu home. Okay, so I'm going to pull, I have this property pulled up in Zillow and it's pending right now. You'll see that it's a pending sale at $39 million. $39 million, okay? But this is, what's misleading about this is this is not how this property looks right now. So if you look in this listing, they have all the, prop, the pictures on the listing as if Kanye had not messed up this house. Kanye completely demolished and demoed the whole house and just left it as an eyesore for years. The property is in Malibu, the best real estate in America, some of the best real estate in America, had some of the most highest sales come out of this county and out of Malibu Road in Malibu, California. Kanye West gets this house and then completely demos it, guts the house completely, takes everything out of it, and then just leaves it there okay i'm trying to get to a million subscribers and i need your help subscribe to my channel and help me get to a million let's go now they have this estimate you see this estimate as of today is 34 million 600 and blah 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 so that's what they pay but here's the price history guys look right here again i'm right on zillow i have the address pulled up and you can see right here in 2021 where Kanye West bought it for $57 million. Okay, so he bought it for $57 million in 2021. And then tried to sell it. And it was before that. It was listed for $75 million. So it was listed for $75 million, And then he bought it for $57 million. So it was listed for $75 million. Listed for $75 million. Kanye West buys it for $57 million. Demos the house, takes everything out of it, leaves it vacant, complete eyesore for years, and then turns around and has to sell it for $39 million, with meaning he lost $20 million on this property. Okay. You can see all of this. And the thing that really, really sucks about it is, like I said, is this is not what the house looks like. So if you go to Zillow and you look at the listing, it was very misleading. It had all of the previous pictures before Kanye had destroyed this house, okay? But the actual pictures of the house... Um, Show that he had completely demoed the house, that he had took everything, had no kitchen, no bathrooms. Like he demoed the entire house, the flooring, the sub, like it was nothing there. It was just this vacant shell of a house in Malibu that just stayed like that for years. He didn't visit the house. No one was working on the house. He did not try to find a tenant or put the house together. It was just an absolute mess. And he left it that way. And then sold it for, you know, $20 million. And you, it's funny because the house, it, it, it was just, it was a beautiful, it could have been probably such a beautiful property, but Kanye decided that he, you know, didn't want to do anything with it. And he just sold it like for a $20 million loss. Well, on the other side, because like I said, you could make $20 million. On the other side of that, okay, on the exact flip side of that, Ellen DeGeneres had a house, okay, very, not too far from where Kanye's house was, and she sold it for, she bought it for 40 something million and then sold it and made like $20 million in a couple of years. So the exact opposite of what Kanye did, all right, and on a coastal town in Montecito, um, California. She bought a house. Because again, these actors, these celebrities, these athletes, like I'm telling you, they're way smarter than you think. And so these are the types of deals that you can do. Now this is of course not where you start in real estate, but the bigger the property, the bigger those numbers. So if I'm telling you, don't go for that twenty, thirty thousand dollar house. You know, people always want to buy mobile homes and different things like that, but they don't appreciate and value. So you would be better off, in my opinion, to take that twenty, thirty thousand dollars and use it as a down payment and buy a two hundred thousand dollar house that's then going to be worth three hundred thousand dollars in a year. And the reason I suggest this is because then you can reinvest easier. Because now you have a hundred thousand dollars worth of, of profit. Because again, you've been cash flowing the property the entire time you've had it. All right. If you're doing, you're following my formula, that property is either Airbnb short-term rental 
or it is a long-term tenant and they're paying down that mortgage. It is not you living in that house. So once you do that, now you get $100,000. You can again, what did I say? Put down $20,000 and buy more properties. And you could, and so now you have $100,000. You could take $40,000, keep 60 for yourself and get two more properties. So instead of taking that one property, you could easily turn that one property into two properties, or you could have turned it into five if you'd, have, if you'd have just reinvested all of it. And that way you could easily become a millionaire. And it's those type of easy decisions that you can do once you're tied to a network of people that tell you to do that and teach you how to do it. And we hold each other's hands and you come to meetings and you join the Real Estate Investor Association. It's actually very, very simple stuff. OK, so again, want to just share my screen one more time and invite you to the Grow Your Wealth event. OK, growyourwealthevent.com, September 27th through the 29th. This is a one-time event. We do this one time per year. That's it. If you don't make it to the 2024, you got to wait all the way to 2025, and you should not wait. I have some amazing stuff going on, um, and I have a really big announcement that I'm going to be making October 1st. So if you come to this event, you actually get a preview of the big October 1st announcement. So you go to growyourwealthevent.com. If you do that, you get your tickets today. Just send me a message after you get your ticket. You just email us at contact at noelrandall.com or you can just hit go to my website, noelrandall.com and hit us on the chat and say you got your ticket and then I'll send you my pick a horse ebook okay number one amazon bestseller okay amazing book you want to get this book it's amazing go get your tickets i want to see you at this event i want to see you okay